Okay, it is not over. We are back home from Montana. We've been back home for almost two weeks now. And today, leaving here about, I don't know, two o'clock, three o'clock, something like that, because we are flying out on a whirlwind trip. We are going to Alaska and Hawaii. Eight days, one trip, six flights, Alaska, Hawaii, and home. So we are running around here today, um, packing up, getting things prepared. Our flight actually leaves about 6.25 p.m. About a week before we got home, um, we decided to do this. So we got a hold of a travel agent from Embark Travel. Um, her name is Lisa Killeen. Get you in the light there. You can actually scan that if you want to check out the Facebook page or else you can just look up Embark Travel. But uh, we contacted her. I sent her an email at like 7 p.m. wherever we were at. I don't even remember. And I thought, oh, maybe we'll hear back in a day or two. I mean, it was literally a couple hours later, maybe even only one hour later, that she emailed back. I had told her exactly what we wanted. She emailed back and had two quotes already. So eight days, we got three nights at a hotel in each of Alaska and Hawaii. We fly out today. We have one connecting flight in Seattle. Then it's on to Fairbanks, Alaska. We have a hotel there for three nights where we actually only end up spending like one, two nights there, one day. It's, it's really crazy. I'll have to explain it to you later. Then we're back on the flight, back to Seattle and out to Honolulu. And then it's Honolulu to Seattle and back to Cleveland. Lisa was awesome in getting us this package. She emailed us all the information and then she also sent us a physical copy of it. And then of course, all the information that we need for our trips, when to check in, um, just anything that we would need to know. So if you're gonna go on any kind of a trip at all, I highly recommend Embark. I mean, she was on it and it was done within like 12 or 13 hours, the whole thing paid, done for, planned out everything. This does come with some challenges, guys. We were getting ready to leave and I received jury duty. <laughs> now I've already sealed this up to send in. I had to send proof of my address, but for the very first time in my life, I was summoned to come to jury duty on the dates that we are going to be gone. Luckily, in looking at the things that would release you from that, one of them was that you are no longer in the jurisdiction. All I had to do was send them proof that I now live in Maslin and I have for the past year and a half. So that got me out of the jury duty. In addition to that, we can only take so much stuff on the plane. So my lovely wife, here's her bag right here, ordered these things right here, which are kind of like pre-packing bags. And it seems funny that you would pack things twice, but when you pack them in these first, it enables you to kind of pack them even tighter. So then when you put them in your suitcase, everything fits that much better. Now we don't want to have to check any bags. On the Delta flight, we are allowed to take two carry-on bags, but on the Alaska flights, we're only allowed to take one and then something else small like a purse and a briefcase. So I showed you Marion's bag. This is mine right here, this backpack. And I have meticulously been packing it to make sure that it meets the requirements. And it is like right at the measurements. Marion's obviously taking her purse, but I also have to take my CPAP. So this is gonna be what would be the uh, briefcase, I guess, for me. I also have a couple of nose sprays that I use every night to clear up my nose before I put this thing on, so I'm hoping they don't take those at the airport. Other than that, everything else should be perfectly fine. We need to get some uh, toothpaste for travel because what we have is six ounces, and I think the rule is you can't have anything over four ounces when it comes to like liquid and stuff like that. All right, we are ready to roll. Little lady here is decked out to the max for the winter weather. <laughs> what is the temperature going to be when we arrive? Fairbanks, Alaska, 22 degrees. 22 degrees, what the heck? So, in a twist of events, I'm wearing sweatpants. <laughs> All right, we are ready to roll out. It's only a little bit after two right now, but we're going to get there early. 
so we don't have any problems. 